how worried should we be about ourselves? You know, does our growth need to be constantly monitored in order for positive change to occur? I think that in life, too much stress is placed on the individual to be an individual. And those who see parts of themselves that maybe they don't like or maybe aren't fit for their current environment, they try to begin to change. But this, the, the main issue with this constant conscious effort is its ability to weaken one's own desires for uh, self-actualization. And it's not necessarily the fact that you're constantly trying to make yourself better that's mentally draining, but the way at which you're going about it is too stressed. So it's not that like can being like not that like um being consistent is negative in the slightest. However, once you realize what makes you grow personally or, or how you're going or how you are, any other attempts are just a waste of energy. There are no point. They have no way to show you you're growing. They're just showing you how you aren't. It is simply a waste of energy to be constantly worried about how you are and how you interact externally. In most ways, the person who we are is not dependent on constant thought to maintain. Action, I feel, is a much better way to alter the self. Because I feel like language in the mind is simply language in the mind. This type of overthought posits nothing in reality. And not to say that you shouldn't be worried about your internal monologue or internal what's going on. Because you definitely should. However, you shouldn't stress your internal self about your external interaction. Especially if you've created somewhat of a foundation for yourself to exist within a comfort of knowing that you're a good person or a person who can exist within society or exist within your society without any constant stress. I think that self applications of, you know, like a self faith are more valuable than constant introspection. Who we are isn't di dictated by who we think we are. It's dictated by who we are. You know, you are who you are. You're not who you're constantly thinking yourself to be. People positive images of themselves in their heads all the time. Some people have negative images of themselves that's constructed by absolutely nothing, grounded in nothing. There's no reality within their own bias towards themselves, but they still have that bias. That is to say that, you know, thought isn't, an, uh, you know, like a real or primary source like a reputable source to judge who you are overthought is something that constantly plagues who we are and this is just simply identification with the false you know possible pretenses of the mind he who thinks all the time has nothing to think of but thought I myself has for a long time engaged in some sort of perpetual thought for the sake of, you know, having some type of analytical observation. However, I noticed that most things don't need to be noted in order to be seen. We too often rebuke the power of the subconscious and the self. Who we are is a something, and this something will exist without constant stimulation. Faith in the self is calm, you know, it's tranquility. And it's something that is taken by giving up and letting go of your constant need to be. Because I feel like once you get wrapped up in being, you start to be the wrapped up rather than the something that's being. You know, it's like... We must take lightly of the self and think deeply of the world because the world is, you know, something that's observable and worth observation. That is to say that perception of oneself and nature is ultimately what separates man from nature. We are observing ourselves too much to live. The 
person we are, however, must in some way be built. That is to say that we can't just like have faith in the self without referencing what the self is. I feel like the actualization of who you are and the, and the constant need for betterment and knowing that your person or you, who you are internally is someone who's tr constantly trying to get better is a safe enough net for you to kind of let yourself be. Now, those of us who are worried about who we are and have to keep that you know, mental leash on ourselves and so be it until you finally get to a point where you're able to perceive yourself as something that is you know maintaining itself then faith in the self is, is something you uh gotta work on self-faith comes in when uh structure is sound enough to exist without support 